Hi guys, Dane here, and if you're wondering about why my hair looks like this, it is because I am f reasonably freshly showered, actually. About 45 minutes ago, the window's open, so we might also get car noise, but we're going to have to deal with it because it's hot. Hey Google, what's the temperature? Thank you, Google. In Wiccan right now, it's 22. That's actually not that hot. It must be hotter inside my house than outside, which is annoying. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing the BookTube history tag. This was created by Harriet Rosie, but ages ago. She'd kind of forgotten about it, I think, because it didn't get much traction. And I was watching through some of her old videos, and I thought, this looks like a good tag. Let's do it. So there are 10 questions, and then at the end I'm going to tag a few people. You know the drill by now. So, question one. When did you discover BookTube, and how? So... I can't remember because it's been so long ago. It was probably about, um, just looking at playing with my hair. It was probably about 2012, but I can't remember what specifically I was looking for. I think I just sort of ended up there, or maybe I saw somebody tweet about it on, you know, Twitter or something. <laughs> people walking past because it's time for people to go home, and I'm sitting here filming. Yeah, I guess I just saw a tweet about it on Twitter and found a video and then sort of started subscribing to people. Question number two, what are some of the first videos you remember watching? So these would probably be like Booktubeathon videos from like 2012 again, or, or whatever. A lot of the challenges and skits and things like that. I remember, uh, I remember actually watching, um, what's her name? Oh, I've forgotten her name now. I don't subscribe to her anymore. Jenna. Jenna Claire K, I guess her name is. I always thought her name was Jenna Claric. <laughs> But uh, she used to play like songs that she'd write based on the book she was reading and I always thought that was super cool and super creative. So I guess that's my answer. Question number three. Who were the first people you subscribed to? So I guess there was a lot of like the Poland Bananas books and those bigger channels. I don't know, I've never subscribed to Jesse the Reader for some reason. Um, I watched Kat, Kat O'Keefe, what's her name, Kat Katie Tastic. Katie Tastic, I don't even know. <laughs> well, I watched her anyway. Um, like, but probably it was the smaller ones. So one of the first ones I remember watching is Missy from Binge Reader. And, um, you know, she's not one of the massive channels, but I've always loved her videos. And so people like that, I guess. It wasn't until recently that I kind of discovered people on BookTube who I feel like I have stuff in common with. So the first people I subscribed to were all basically young American girls reading uh, YA, you know, which there is a place for, obviously, but it meant that I didn't get particularly into booktube because it wasn't my books. Question number four. Are there any booktubers you used to watch but don't anymore? Yeah, Jenna. Also, uh, Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And I know this is, like, sacrilege. Like, don't get me wrong, I think she has a great channel. I just don't really relate to her. And, the, you know, her system of how she rates books is completely like irrelevant to why I pick books up books up so I understand you know for example people want to see if there was accurate representation in there or uh, you know diversity and stuff like this but that's not why I pick a book up and like by that I've figured it out quite often like by her standard of how she measures books quite often I'd be like you'd have to give like a one star to William Shakespeare and stuff so so her rating system doesn't really work for me, so that's why I don't watch her videos. Um, yeah, Poland Bananas books. Sorry, Christine, if you're watching. <laughs> As if she'd be watching, but uh, if she is, sorry. And um, that's just because she's too loud. I'm too old for that shit. And I also, I've said this before, I think she's backed herself into a corner where she's actually matured since she started making her videos and probably now wishes she didn't have to be as loud in all of her videos. But it's kind of her brand now, so... Uh, this is getting kind of controversial. I wasn't expecting this. Question number five. Is this your first YouTube channel? If not, what was? So it is. And that's why, like, the URL for it is just Dane Cobain. I registered in this in, like, 2006. So when YouTube first came out. And um, I've had other channels along the way. I have socialbookshelves.com, which is my book blog's YouTube channel. And it, I kind of dabbled with BookTube through that. But I didn't really get involved in the community, you know. So so this is like my first YouTube channel, but it's been through various incarnations. But uh, there is a question about that later. So Question number six. Who is the last booktuber you subscribed to? Oh, it was... Uh... Alright, the most recent booktuber I subscribed to is Taylor Reads Here. And that is Taylor with two Ys. And 
yeah, Taylor's a newbie. Uh, he has nine subscribers. So go check him out. He's probably got more by this point. Question number seven. What was the last booktube video you watched? I can probably check this in my watch later as well, can't I? Let's have a look. Um, okay, it's so the last booktube video that I watched. It was Paul Reed's doing his small booktuber shout outs. There we go. And before that, it was Taylor Reed's here's introduction to booktube. Okay, question number eight. What non-bookish content do you watch? Uh, I watch quite a lot. So, for example, I watch Aussie Man Reviews. He's great. I also watch his uh, podcast channel. I watch PewDiePie, just because I've been watching him for years. Davey504, he plays bass guitar. Uh, Feast of Fiction, which make, like, food based on books and other fictitious stuff. Uh... I don't know, who pops into mind? Let's have a look at, again, look at me watch later list. YouTube creators, I recently subscribed to them, so I've been watching a bunch of their videos. Bosch TV, they do vegan food. The Drum, they're like an advertising, uh, well, they're like, they're like a publication which reports on ad agencies, and I used to work in marketing. Reckless Eating, so they do uh, like food challenges and lots of other stuff, so the video that's popped up there. Four Loco Beer Pong Challenge. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Will Smith, just everyone. Don't flop, they do uh, rap battles. Question number nine, what were your first videos like? So, again, because I've had this vid channel for so long, my first videos were literally like me sharing clips from TV shows and stuff. There's actually one or two of them left still on my channel. There's also, uh, from like 2009, a uh, documentary on the Tower of London that I did with some uni friends. Just randomly put it up on YouTube after we were done and it's had like 15,000 views and a lot of dislikes and hate comments. And it's like, dude, we made this for uni. <laughs> and it's like, not like a professional thing. Um, yeah. I also, back in the day, I used to do like a lot more music on my channel. I did one man band videos where I'd have like here, 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 and here. I'd have six different versions of me all, all doing different parts of music. Uh, I did like let's play videos. I did some gaming and stuff like that just because that was what was popular. So, yeah, and then, you know, I just decided. Well, after that, I had like a hiatus for a bit. And then I decided I was going to give Booktube a go because I'd never properly given it a go, you know? And question number 10, what booktubers have you watched since the beginning? Well, again, that'd be Missy from Binge Reader. Uh, probably Kit Kats Can Read, not since not far off the beginning. Anyone that I've been watching for years, Harriet Rosie I've been watching for a few years. Maybe not since the beginning, but pretty, pretty close to her beginning, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to tag people. And the way that I've been doing this is by going into my comments and seeing who commented recently. So the people who've commented recently and who therefore I tagged to do this, we have The Reading Werewolf, One Book, One Review, Run Right Reads, Sarcasm and Sci-Fi, Anthony Andrews, Minx Laura123, Grace Marie, and Kia Reads. And also just Todd the Librarian, you're tagged as well. And anyone else who wants to do it, let's bring this tag back. In fact, Harriet Rosie, I tag you to take this tag again. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more bookish videos. Let me know in the comments your answers, I guess. And I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.